Hello friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone's having a great day and uh, you had a nice weekend. <laughs> I had a nice weekend. It just um, sleeted here yesterday pretty much. We had a little snow in the morning and then pretty much all sleet so I didn't stick to the trees. Uh, so far as uh, this video, <laughs> as of the making of this video, so um, that means no downed trees and we we have electricity as you can see uh, probably my lights are on <laughs> so that's always good right i lived without a, over uh, over a week without electricity after hurricane michael and it was not fun so i don't want to do that again if i don't have to so um and it was uh seemed like it was cold then too was it i don't know there was a little period of time too Maybe that was just another time that, that we, um, at the beginning of 2021, where we didn't have electricity and it was cold. Maybe that was something else, not a hurricane. But anyway, it wasn't fun. It's never fun to be without electricity, especially when it's cold. So anyway, I'm doing a little flip through of this journal today. Yesterday, I showed you how to do the coil, how I do the coil binding. And so I went ahead and finished, finished this one up. This is the one of the journals that I am uh, finishing unfinished projects. So this is the second one. I have two more. So we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling like I'm gonna get detoured, but we'll see. <laughs> so here's the outside of this one where we decorated this together with the flowers and the little uh, like half bead stickers here that we glued on and did some little fabric trim, the coils and the fabric trim, trim is on the back here too. I also, like the last one, made a little, you know, small tassel here on a uh, upholstery or um, bulb pen that can be removed and a little bead dangle right here. Blue, uh, this pretty blue, I don't know if that's considered lamp work or not. I'm not a, you know, lamp work, I, you know, I'm not a lamp work bead expert, but I've seen them on uh, YouTube. So um, if you're, you know, maybe you know, but I just think it's a pretty bead and then I have a couple other pieces on there with a lobster claw clasp but that can be removed so let's just do a quick flip through here it's similar but not the same um, just as a reminder I did stitch around all the outside of these covers just for decoration it's a white thread a zigzag stitched I just kind of was having fun I thought it looked really beautiful uh, on the front and the back with the zigzag stitch all the way around there and my sewing machine did go through it, so that was awesome. So here's the inside with the original pages uh, on the inside here cover and the first page from this book. Again, use the adhesive pocket, so I have one right here with a drilling card and a little, just a little punch out that I punched like a tag with, and it says this book belongs to a little rubber stamp that I have there. Just stamp that on there and put it right here in that adhesive pocket and then so we'll just turn the pages real quick uh, let's see after the first page I have this is kind of a ledger this is general estimate so it was some kind of a ledger pad I got at a thrift store most of the things are thrifted once in a while I have a little print, printable you know ephemera that I'm trying to use up that I'll stick in here in my journal so um, but other otherwise it's everything I've you know everything I've thrifted things like that you know so and it's original authentic from wherever I got it right so that's this is a page probably from this book uh, they, this was a book of stories and this looks like one of the stories that was in one of these books I've been you know using all the pages from all these type of books in these journals a little um, bridge tally card here that you can write in or cover this up with some copy dyed paper and use the whole thing for writing or adding in pictures or whatever you want to put in there and this is like a cardstock scrapbook paper type paper uh, some vintage book page here looks like it's from maybe a craft book a vintage craft book I'm not sure I don't remember it's been a while since I cut these pages here's just a pretty uh, this might have been printed oh you know what this is, this is a copy of a uh, printable from my shop uh, where I have trims and uh, you know things like that so yeah that's one of my printables <laughs> coffee dyed paper this looks like a page from this book really pretty like map page and more information about that country and things and here's a plain, large playing card and I was saying yesterday 
or the other day on my other flip through that you could use this as a background for a picture wouldn't that be pretty like a frame and put a little picture right here or you could do that on this side too this is a tuck spot here I put a milk cap up here and I meant to leave it loose on the bottom and I didn't I glued it down so then I put another piece right here <laughs> another little like chipboard piece it's a clock and just put some ephemera there tucked it in so I've got a library catalog card here vintage you know and a little piece from a green stamp book this is just a part of a page I believe oh my camel my candle just just uh, went out so I was getting some smoke there um, if you saw I don't know if you can see that on camera but it's my candle just kind of blew itself out um, anyway that's the SNH screen stamp and that smoke kind of gets into my <laughs> to breathing I'm allergic to things like that anyway uh, a vintage book cup cup I mean book um, bookmark that is uh, from a thrift store Diction, children's dictionary page another just uh, kind of ledger type paper and this one's cardstock that I picked up at a thrift store a couple pieces of, of ephemera here a postage stamp and a little piece of uh, ephemera that I got those at I just got I think I only had two of those I don't know where I got them I don't know if I got them in happy mail or from a thrift store but they are old you can tell they're old kind of browning you know type of thing and then uh, oh this was clipped back there this is a vintage uh, postcard isn't it pretty let's see if it I can read real quick where it's set where it is New York's World's Fair 1964 to 1968 not used isn't that cool that's very uh, mid-century modern looking building there isn't it so that was in there and here's an envelope did I put anything in here I have a feeling I didn't yeah I forgot to put something in here but I got plenty of ephemera tucked throughout and you can put something in there uh, that's just a little envelope that I made and a book from this a page from this book some stationery that I spritzed on the back with some it looks like uh, green or blue I use food coloring in my sprays colored sprays this is a CD pocket that I glued on here as a as a pocket and I made a little there was a little thumb hole here but I made it bigger with my circle punch because I felt like it wasn't big enough and then I put a couple of journaling card or you know ephemera journaling cards in there this is a little recipe card that I had decorated and there's some writing space in there and on the back that's just sewn on there a little fabric there as a decoration sewn on and then <clears throat> just some scraps here that you can turn into writing space a little lined papers and graph paper there and a little piece of music oh what is this wait a minute oh that's that's on the recipe card and then a little piece of music here that you can use in uh, the journal just little things that you can write on and decorate and cut out and whatever you want to do I guess I'll tuck that behind there <laughs> there we go and then turn the page this looks like a page from this book really neat um, old older books and the pages are really nice and vintagey looking some stationery here that's got the green spray on the back some of the uh, train wrapping paper that had the diagram of the train a playing card a regular size one this is lined paper lined on both sides some more stationery this is coffee related and I did put some trim on here some pretty like crochet looking trim and a little bull pin with a heart wooden heart button and then graph paper here okay this looks like a page from this book more stationery. This is the dragonfly stationery with some. Looks like it's been spritzed on the back a little bit, maybe, or coffee dyed. Flash card, long narrow one. This is wallpaper with a pocket over here, and some a journaling card over there. This is made from a time card, decorated with some wallpaper and little clusters and things. And then this is a little uh, piece that I had made with my new. Uh, that's new to me. Uh, big shot and made this little kind of like tag and I just left this little shaped part out here sticking out as a tab for this journal so like I showed you in the last one uh, you know you have the tab here and then you have the little trims that look so pretty on the side 
the little button that I just showed you. And then there's another little pin right here with a charm. This is one that has a castle charm with a little paper bead that I uh, made myself. And that's a safety pin there on that, that uh, back page with the trim with the trim on it. So we'll go back to our tab. This is a card, like a little birthday card that I thought was so cute. Had it in my stash here. I like to use my cards and put one in journals when I can. So that's the front and the back cover of that card. This is the Dragonfly Stationery with a pocket on the back. Now I received this pocket in Happy Mail a while ago and I thought it was so pretty. And I put it into my stash and never used it. And I thought, you know, it, it looks pretty right here. This is where this is where it belongs. This is what I was waiting for for some reason. And it looks beautiful right there. And then this little tag. Also, I didn't make this one either. It was already, it was in the pocket here. And isn't that beautiful? And it's sewn around. And you have journaling space on the back. There's even a little eyelet here with these little, uh, little beads on a bulb pin with all these little pieces. There's like a little piece of fabric and a little tag with a number. So cute. I love it. So that goes right in there. And this is sewn around too and has all, there's even a little notepad right here. Isn't that cute? <laughs> little brad right there some eyelash trim it's just a very beautiful pocket so here's some ledger paper here page from this book uh, scrap of paper that's been green spritzed on the back this is just some yellow paper and stationery map here uh, this looks like it's probably from an atlas one of my atlases scrap of paper spritzed with a looks like green. Sometimes I can't tell if it's green or blue because they're both very light. I think this might be the blue one. And then uh, this is a flashcard, a word flashcard. Uh, just a pretty uh, like map page from something. This might have been from my garden, a garden journal that I took apart. It's a pretty like gardeny page here and then there's a map showing the different possible zo growing zones there. I think that's what it was from. A page from this book. Uh, here I have a doily on this craft colored page here folded around and that is a tuck spot. It's glued just on the edge here so you can tuck something in there. It will hold something. And then page from this book, ledger, and this is a, this might be from a reader's digest. And just some more kind of ledgery type uh, cardstock paper. Uh, page from this book, an envelope here. Now I put a little garden. Uh, I I don't know if I got this in Happy Mail or where I got it, but it was so cute. I thought I would decorate the flap here with that. So it's kind of extends the flap and decorates the back of the envelope. And then in the envelope, I put some pieces that can be used to decorate with. So this is a piece of the like wrapping that I used from your creative studio in the last journal I used it to decorate the envelope but I didn't have enough left to decorate this envelope so I just put a piece in there for someone to use this is another scrap of scrapbook paper uh, that someone can use you know a pretty piece of green and it's card stocky and this is a picture that I cut out from one of my books backed it on this black card stock and sewed around it so that can be used somewhere it's vintage and then I did decorate this side with a pretty uh, piece of paper that I had. I like the font and everything on here. Let me show you. It's kind of an old world font on there. So really pretty. Uh, that was from a, a paper that I had. Uh, like a, the Bill of Rights or something I had a copy of. It wasn't a printout. It was just something I had. Like you know how they put those uh, reproductions of those types of papers. And they're on that really cool thick whatever that paper is and it's just I had one I had a couple actually I've been using them in my journals <laughs> so this is a black and white vintage photo here um, it has a date here May I think it says 55 right there it's a little lady standing in front of her house so cute there's a vintage paper clip one of those plastic ones they don't make anymore station coffee stationery there it's actually coffee themed um, Atlas page, scrap of paper with a little tuck spot. This is a ga domino game piece here with a little Monopoly uh, card tag and a piece of Monopoly money that is pink so you can have fun decorating with those and writing on those. Here's the, the, the uh, other piece of trim that I mentioned with the 
it's a safety pin with a paper bead and a little charm, which is a Kessel. So cute, right? A large postcard with a love um, postal postage on it. Uh, so cute with this little puppy. I got those at a thrift store. And a pocket here made from a blue Rolodex card. And I really went, dug through my ephemera and I'm trying to destash that also along with other things. So here's a piece of a, a, like a tag I made where you open it up, you have a writing spot. It's made from an old book page. And it's some just layered pieces here with some baker's twine. So you can write inside of that. And this is a, a leftover printable uh, piece that I had from when I was doing, uh, when I was on some design teams and just folded that up and made a little journaling spot. See, there's a line, it's real pretty. Lines on the front and the back, and then you have room inside to write. So that is in there. I think that's from Tsunami Rose. Stationery here with the bookmark that I made. It's clip, paper clipped right here. And it's a paper clip I made from one of the uh, spines of these books that I'm using for these journals. Just added some uh, some manila folder in the back and sewed on Rick Rack on each side there. Uh, this is uh, Atlas again and scrapbook paper, green dyed page from this book, scrapbook paper. This is some more uh, pretty vintage wrapping paper, stationery there, dyed on the back, page from the book. This is scrapbook paper. That was also dyed, was that dyed on the back too? Yeah, that's got green on it, page from this book. This is cardstock, like scrapbook paper. Uh, it's got a nice pocket here that I made with a piece of original North Norfolk and Western Railroad Company. I kept a few of these for, my, for myself so I could put a few in my journals, but I sell these in my shop. And I found this in my stash today. I was like, oh good, I kept some for myself. I didn't know if I did, but it's pretty cool. Uh, these are from like 1922. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a date on this one. Yeah, that says 1922 right there. See, it's used. It's from, it was actually, um, you know, original authentic ephemera and a really pe cool, cool piece, especially if you're into collecting railroad ephemera. That's uh, who usually orders these type of things in my shop. They say, oh, I'm getting this from my grandpa or my dad that used to work for the railroad or collects railroad type and train type things so yeah there's a piece right there this is the back cover where I have the other adhesive pocket with a journaling card in here if you have a little thumb spot right there and this is just little this is made from a old uh, this was from an old newspaper and it was an ad I believe in an old newspaper that I had from like the 70s or something and just decorated with a few pieces here and there's writing room on the back and it fits perfectly like the size of an index card is what fits in this back pocket and just fits right in there like that and you've got your little little thumb spot there and then that is the journal so this is the one we bound together so now let me go over the quickly through the a goodie bag I have this pretty um, kind of turquoisey blue um, bag here that goes you know with the with the all overall colors of this journal and so that's always fun to have a pretty paper bag to work with and in here same type of goodies but you know like I said I've been digging through my bits and pieces here I've got two larger of the larger like four by six journaling cards this one's really pretty I love this like argyle print on here <laughs> And yeah, isn't that pretty? Green and blue, I love that one. And uh, here's a cute one. It says love. It's got lines there. And then this one has the sun and clouds and lines to write over here, like primary paper or kids paper. And then we've got a guest check. These are the cardstocky ones. And let's see, I've got lots of little bits and pieces. So here's a little tag. It's a little circle tag with a pocket and it has a tag in it. <laughs> I made those one time on video, I believe. Uh, some little bits and pieces like that. I, I cut up my scraps and like made them into little writing spots. And this is just plain cardstock. Like look, this, look at this one, it's so cute. It's from an index card. 
scrap. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so adorable. And then here's a little, I guess I made a faux postage stamp with a ship. It's a picture of a ship, probably from a Reader's Digest. And then this looks like a leftover ephemera from, this is Shabby Dabby Doodah. And a little calendar piece here. This is March of, I don't know what year. <laughs> a little flower punch out. Some other little punch outs here and things, little tags that I made from scraps and just different little bits and pieces. This is a little tiny file folder here. <laughs> See how tiny that is? Here's the tab and then it opens. That's a teeny tiny file folder. Um, something I punched out of junk mail. A little thumbs up. And a little teeny tiny tag. And let's see, little writing spot here that I, where I stamped a mushroom onto graph paper. This is another little file folder made from ledger paper. This little piece I cut off of something, uh, probably a greeting card or something. It's card stucky. And then uh, these are pieces of uh, index cards. You can round these corners. Sometimes I've done that. And they look really cute with rounded corners if you have a corner rounder. And then uh, here's a Rolodex card that I made from scrapbook paper. It's double, it was double sided. So it's a Rolodex card. A little cluster that has a heart and a button on top, a cute, pretty piece of lace there. I see a vintage piece of sheet in there too. So really cute, you can decorate something with that. Little writing spots here, That this one's folded. Uh, this is cardstock, this is file folder folded. Uh, this is just a single piece of file folder and this is a book page that I folded and folded for a write, for writing space, for a journaling space. So that is all in the goodie bag. And that is the journal. So when you see this, it will be in my shop. And just if you're interested, pop over there. Look around while you're there. <laughs> Got lots of goodies in my shop that I carry. Some I, you know, they're just like journals and things. That's just one of a kind. And then all the things I carry on a regular basis, like pins and, you know, I don't know, coffee dyed paper, things like that. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the process of uh, finishing unfinished projects so far this year. And I'll be doing some more because I have the other two journals and I found some other projects that I kind of uh, was thinking about doing. I have the covers, but... Uh, they, I never really did anything with them, so hmm, that might be in the near future. So stay tuned. I'll see y'all next time, and uh, have a great week. Happy crafting.